Hey guys, what is up and welcome to Pokemon Legends Red And like I said in my previous video This is the second part uh, Second upload for today This is to make up for the day that I that I missed a while, yesterday Because I have a few things to do In the previous episode, like we, you've seen just now, we took down Koga at the Fuchsia City Gym. So before flying back to Saffron and at least take on and take on the rocket grunts at the Sylph company let's take the route next here at yeah route 14 let's route 14 and The people over the trainers over there. Um, let's take. I'll take them down to gain some good EXP for this. And as expected, the levels of the opponents are already at their 70s I don't think Gardevoir can handle the Alolan Muck, so I guess I'll I'll try putting up Greninja. Okay, the Alolan Mock almost defeated my Greninja. Okay, Toxtricity is also at 70. I wanted to at least let the team reach their eight level 80s or something since looking at Koga's team he has a four has he has an arsenal of four with all of them level 78 so Sabrina and the rest of the gym leaders left will definitely be at their 80s and above so And I also have to take down Giovanni at the Sylph company to get rid of Team Rocket there. 
So looking at this, I just wanted to record this episode here um, to take a break uh, with the major events of the game. I'll do the training off screen of reaching of letting them reach their 80s or something. But I guess until then we'll just fork poke dollars over these trainers at this route as well. And Cardiffor definitely cannot handle the Hound Doom. And it's a mega to both. Cinder, I guess Cinder Ace can. And for goodness graciousness, the Hound Doom defeated my. <laughs> it's a waste that Cinder Ace will not be able to gain EXP. Okay, Greninja up for that. I want to check out the tall grass first. Is there anyone here? You who? Anyone? Nah, my Tiana only. After this biker will heal up, it's an Alolan Golem. Alright, I think Rillaboom can handle this one. Earthquake doesn't affect Rillaboom that much. I wonder if Toxtricity will be able to learn Earthquake. Uh, it managed to learn Dig. So I guess it may be possible for Toxtricity to learn it once I get the TM from the last gym leader.
So a Nidu King is coming up. I'll try with Gardevoir, but of course it will definitely be trashed by the Nido King, etc. etc. And oh my gosh, it was badly poisoned. I'll put Greninja back. One extra sensory from the Greninja, then this Nidu King is bye bye. Okay, really boom at level 68. Okay, we're teleporting back to Fuchsia to heal up. Since Gardevoir is poisoned, Cinder Ace is down, and Greninja is half near, near, half near fainting. It's really annoying how I can't use the bike unless I'm at a cycling road or something. Yeah, Fui, where, where am I going? Did I fight you already? What are those winged mirages? I think he's referring to Articuno Zapdos and Moltres. Oh, he has this here fetched. I think Surfetch is a fighting type, so Psychic is definitely a super effective move. Right? Uh-huh. Maybe try Shockwave. So that we won't waste the Psychics too much. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a waste. And I've been trying to... Okay, Grand Ninja grew to 70. I've been trying to... Train up with the Gardevoir, but it ends up losing. I was right. The Winged Mirages he's referring to are Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Okay. Onwards to the upper route. Uh, 
I really hope I can tr still train up Gardevoir so much that it will be able to catch up. She's the only one left at 64. Rillaboom and Cinder is at their 68 already. Toxtricity, Corv Knight, and Greninja are at their 70s. I'm really trying so hard to get the Gardevoir to level up so much. So, looking at it, it might just be another good opportunity to use the VS Seeker to let Gardevoir level up while fighting trainers and as well as gaining some Poké Dollars. I hate how Fearows are so fast. It can defeat my Gardevoir with one hit of a drill pack or something. Shockwave's not doing so much, so I really wanted to get the TM for Thunderbolt already. Uh-huh, we're going for a blaze kick. See, the, there's the drill pack that can... It even dealt lots of damage to Cinder Ace. Okay, Dodrio is up next. Definitely not something for Gardevoir again since... These are speedsters. Because aside from Greninja, Cinder Ace is one of my fastest Pokemon, I guess, in terms of the speed. And Cinder Ace is also a good physical attacker. And can sometimes be a whiz with its defense. Has a seer fetched? Maybe guard. Maybe Gardevoir already can. We'll just fork over the psychics. The sidekick better hit because if it, it used sword dance, so it man, if it manages to hit us once, Gardevoir's definitely gonna be down. Because that's what happened the last trainer. Okay. They're not giving off lots of Poke Dollars, I guess. Quite annoying. Okay, there's a Pidgeotto. I really wanted to get the Thunder... If I manage to raise enough funds for the Thunderbolt and Shadow Ball, Gardevoir's moveset can definitely be good already despite replacing teleport for easy return of to the pokemon center it might still be it's still worth it since corv knight already has fly we can fly anywhere we want as long as we visited the town already and combine is a good addition to guard of moveset since it increases 
guard the special attacks and special defense. Now I'm still trying to okay, Cinder is grew to level 69. I'm thinking where we can I can find the TM for sludge bomb. I kind of forgot. And I wanted to teach teach sludge bomb to toxicity to replace one of the poison moves since It doesn't do poison tail and poison poison fang doesn't deal as much damage as I'm expecting. So I wanted to get the sludge bomb. Since toxic since my toxicity is a good special attacker, sludge bomb will definitely be a good addition to its move set. Okay, Corb Knight at 71. What the... Is that a trainer over there? You. There's full of bird keepers. Guardivore is gonna, not going to be able to keep up. I'll put, I'll put, I think I'll put up Toxtricity first. Definitely in this trainer battle, Toxtricity will level up to 71. Ah, oh, Fooey, it doubled team. Come on, Toxtricity, you have to hit the Thunderbolt. Alright. Okay, Fierro's up next. Alright, Toxtricity finally at 71. So I guess Granny just gonna be up next. Okay, it's a far fetched. This is just a normal far fetch from Kanto. This is not the Galar form. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, forty-eight thousand eight hundred forty-four Poké Dollars. It's still not enough to get. The remaining two TMs. So since we still have seven, since we still need at least seventy thousand Poke Dollars for that. Oh boy. I'm putting Greninja up first. Since Greninja has Ice Beam and can also take down Okay. Okay, that was a wrong move. Should have put Cinder Ace. But since Cinder Ace is very low on health, one hit from this Skarmory, and we're yeah, we're doomed. Yeah, we're doomed. Okay. The spotlight's really been on Greninja. It became so OP. Okay, Gardevoir's finally at 65. Slowly, really slow on catching up though. Oh boy, it's a Corb Knight of his own. But we got our own. But I'm putting up Toxtricity to one hit it with Thunderbolt. Only if God Devor have it, which would have been easier. No, oh, no, you don't. Oh boy. All right. Okay, back to the other side. So the wheezing is a Galarian wheezing. Greninja's not gonna do much damage. Unless it's Corv Knight. And the steel wing. Oh boy. Why do you do that? Okay, Corv Knight survives 
Okay, it rose to defense. And Greninja grew to 71 already. Rillaboom of 69. Come on, Gardevoir, you have to catch up. Everyone's nearing their 680s already. Uh, I'll put Greninja since Gardevoir will not really be able to handle any of those. Okay, as expected of Greninja. Okay, an Arbok. Are you a level 75? Nah. Okay. So there's still lots of trainers there. Oh yeah, there's a Trico already. I already saw one back at Vermilion though, at the route before. And suddenly the Peachy is at level 26. Then the next Pokemon will definitely a monsterific one. Oh, it's not. Maybe I'll put Gardevoir. Gardevoir can definitely handle those 26. If I'm following all the level up moves of Greninja, it can definitely learn Night Slash at level 77. So, I think j just a few more levels for it. I really hope so, so that it can replace the Faint Attack. Night Slash is way better than Faint Attack. I'm really considering of healing up since there's still more trainers before I reach the another Snorlax blocking the way. Hopefully.
don't know this page is really wishing for it huh to drag out corv knight a meowth will you be the dynamax meowth <laughs> Oh, it's not. I'm definitely healing up after this so that there are a Perfect halt already. Okay, I'll just check items if there is. Okay, there's no items since... Okay, um... Let's teleport for now. Okay, so which of these trainers I haven't taken down yet? Uh, we took it down. Okay, I'm on the wrong path. Okay, down, down, down. No, 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 no. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. There's another path. Yo, girly, fight me, Polyrath at seventy two. It's a modern fighting type. Uh, I'll try with Greninja, extra sensory. Rillaboom can easily take this down. But Greninja also can. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She's got a pre-marina. How? You're going down, Primarina.
Okay, Primarina's pre down. Corb Knight at 72. So there's a trainer. So, so there's this double battle. Oh, it's not a double battle anymore. It's a cliff able. Definitely a job for Toxtricity. Okay. If I manage, if I'll manage to hit the poison tail next, the fable's gonna be down. Okay. Seventy-two for electricity. It's a Persian. Are you a lowland Persian? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe yes. Nah, Cinder Ace, you're up. Might be. Alright, it was a lowland Persian. Okay, another brick break. Will you fight up the confusion? All right. To the other lady. Okay, so this is a gigantic max meow. Time for you, seen their ace. Another brick break. All right, it's f forcing hyper potions now. Okay, I'm hearing thunder outside the outside, so it's still sunny, but I heard a thunder, though it's a faint one, so it might rain sooner or later. This is a Mega Heracross, huh? Since it's a solo. Yeah, I saw the symbol already. 
Secret Ninja. You better mega evolve, use extra sensory, and take down this hero cross. Gosh, the Mega Horn will one hit. Oh, it did, it's not a one hit KO for uh, Cinder Ace. It's not a one hit KO, but it's super effective to Grand Ninja, so might as well blaze kick you. Okay. But since Renin just down, I want to heal up. Maybe I'll just fork it or revive or something. Since there's just few trainers left, I guess. Oh, fooey. Where's the revive? There. Maybe I'll put up Cinder Ace and Fraud again. Alright, we have 68,516 Poké Dollars now. Just a few more, I guess. But I don't know how much you can handle the... Oh. Nah, we're going with Gardevoir. I'll definitely search up where I'll f where I can find where I can find the TM for Sludge Bomb. So that I can see if Toxicity will be able to learn it. Yeah, okay, there are faint thunder sounds outside despite being still sunny, so nah, the, the route will be ending We will reach the end of the route soon since we're already at the bridge Alright, Guarded War is 66. I just wanted to show the calm, the uh, a little off screen training to get away with the main storyline for a while. Because the, the, the next point of the story will be a major plot twist for... Will be a major plot... Pardon the correct part correction for the plot twist. It's not a plot twist. It's a plot... The major turning point of the story where... At Saffron City. So, before taking on the Sylph company, might as well be prepared and level level up a lot. And speaking of level up, Cinder Ace reached 70. Okay, Polly rolls down. Will a boom up 70 again? I mean, as well.
There's the poison point. It activated kind of late. Okay. My real boom's a little tankier because uh, it has tons of HP. Why am I putting Cinder Ace? Oh yeah, Cinder Ace, the first one in the party though. So if you have the Magic Arp, you'll definitely have the Gyarados. Alright, I was right. It has the Gyarados. And Toxtricity is the only one who can take it down with... Thunderbolt. Will you be down? Will you be down? Are you gonna go down? Okay, one Thunderbolt from Toxtricity. Oh, Greninja's already at 72. Quite a fast follow up there. Oh, there's no item. Oh, there's the car call. But not for now. We'll get you. He's searching for a moonstone to evolve his Nidorino. Okay, the confusion didn't manage to affect Cinder Ace. Quite annoying though. Maybe I'll put Gardevoir. Go for one Psychic. He has a Needle King, so why does he need another? Oh, he wanted to evolve so that he'll have two Needle Kings.
Okay. So there's the squirtle. So I found the squirtle. Bulbous, I found the total dial before and defeated it. Then found the Cyndaquil at their route between Lavender Town and Saladon. Route 8. Okay, so there's a swamp purchases. Okay, this brings back. Oh my gosh, it's a mega swamp perch. I guess Rillaboom can handle this though. And the Bulbasaur is at the route between Saladin and Saffron. The one where I fought Hilbert and his monsterific Haxorus. And Charm the Charmander was at the cycling road near the entrance to Fuchsia City. Alright, Willowboom's Ginga Drain doing the job. And oh my gosh, Corv Knight's 73 already. What's going on? It's... And that means Toxtricity is nearing it already. Oh my gosh. Guard divorce really be left behind. Okay, so I think this is where I'll get the super rod. So we're nearing the Okay, so we reached the Snorlax. So we'll have to fly. The Squirtle's right here. I wanted to... Uh... Alright, let, let's fly to... Saladon. Maybe we can purchase another set of coins. Managed to heal up. I want to check on the EXP of everybody, especially Gardevoir. Alright. It's near level 67 already.
70, near 71 for Willow Boom, 71 for Inder, Cinder Ace, nearing 70, near 73 for Textricity. We're doing just still quite a lot, alright? Everyone's leveling up so fast, I can't catch up. Oh well. I'm kind of tempted to... We only have 76... At least I can try. We'll definitely be able to purchase one again. So I'll probably get... Oh, these are the battle items. Nah, I'm not going for that yet. Oh, they sell the Trini for 2,800 coins and the Porygon for 10,000 coins as well. Maybe I'll get the Dratini later on. Now I'm really thinking if I'll get the Shadow Ball first or the Thunderbolt. Um, since it just I just need a few coins left for Thunderbolt. I mean for Shadow Ball. Yeah, I'll go for the Thunderbolt, I guess. Or maybe a shadow ball for now. Since I'll have 580 coins, then I guess I need 4,000 more. So that means 40,000 plus po Poke Dollars. So, Shadow Ball. Yes, Gardevoir's the only one. But I think I must say goodbye to the teleport already. And once I get the TM saved enough and got the TM for Thunderbolt, we'll replace the Shockwave then. Maybe Dream we can learn Shadow Ball too. I kind of for wait. I w I wanted to check. I wanted to check if Dreepy can learn the Shadow Ball, since it's also a Ghost type. Where's the Dreepy? Okay. Mm-hmm. Dreepy can also learn the Shadow Ball.
what else can I teach DP? Maybe flamethrower? Okay, no. I can't seem to teach anything to Dreepy. Can you fly? Of course not. So, okay. We'll just get the Thunderbolt next and then save up for the game corner Pokemon so that or maybe if I can get one. Okay. We have the team back. So I'll be going back to Fuchsia City and the routes near it. So that I can train up Gardevoir more and the rest of the team and even fork them over with some cash. So I'll end this part right here, sa currently saving now, and tomorrow I'll, I'll train off screen if I can, as much as I can later, and tomorrow we'll s see if we can already take on the Sylph company, if they manage to at least reach 75 and above or something. So, thank you guys for watching, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.